guys, welcome to day four of Vlogmas. We have been having the most relaxed day. We got home last night at about 2.30. Then I started to edit the vlog and upload it and everything like that. So we finally got to sleep at about three o'clock. So we woke up at 8.30 and we've just been sort of chilling. And then we got into the garage, we labeled all of the equipment with the new label maker, which I'm so excited for, but it works so well. I know, small things in life. But we just got home from shopping and we bought something that made us feel very like adult, which is probably pretty lame. We got snack time crackers. They've got all different sorts of biscuits. I'll show you now what biscuits they've got on it. They are salty cracks, cream crackers, Wheatsworth Originals, Poppy Seed Ones, Golden Grain, Savoy Crackers, and Mini Salty Cracks with Roasted Onion. And these are the type of biscuits that lots of people around here eat around Christmas time. You put like cold meats on it, or cucumber and cream cheese, or pate. And I've never bought a box of these biscuits, and I don't think John has either, but it's one of those things that makes you feel really adult. And we also bought, I don't know if I can find it here quickly. Anyway, can't find it, but we also bought a salmon pate to have with Melba toast, which again feels pretty adult. And then I bought another mild cape curry. This is the same one. It comes with all the different spices that you need to make the curry. And then it tells you on the back all the additional things that you need to buy and exactly how to make the curry. And I found this one a really good one. I've never made a curry before, so we bought this one with all the different ingredients, and it took about, I think, two hours to make. And John loved it. We served it with, served it with some basmati rice, and then we had it the second day with just normal rice, and it was so delicious. So we decided we were gonna try that one again, and we just did a little shop, but the shop was a bit busy, Christmas, end of the month, blah, 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 blah. They got specials on until tomorrow. So we got some good stuff. But I just wanted to tell you guys about the biscuits. I know, I get excited about these weird things. It's strange. But we're keen to have those around the Christmas period because for me, as a South African, those are just one of the things that you can't have Christmas without. So that led, has led me to want to ask you guys a quick question. Is what food stuff, other than obviously the Christmas Eve or Christmas Day lunch or dinner, what food stuff for you signifies like the festive season. I think that for some people it's like mince pies or some people it's biscuits or I don't know. What what for you guys is the thing that says to you Christmas season is here? Let us know down in the comment section below. So I just wanted to say very quickly to those of you who have um, been on the radio station, thank you so much for tuning in. I see someone from New Zealand tuned in for quite a while. Uh, so to whoever that was, thank you very much and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please feel free to send requests on the Facebook page. Just um, head to the Tali and John Facebook page. And if you want to just write on the page that you'd like X song or Y song, it just needs to be in the sort of feel good, uh, chilled, stroke easy listening genre of music. Because that's what we're trying to do, just create really nice chilled music. But the interesting thing was um, we were going to go through to Cape Town. Well, we are going to go through to Cape Town uh, next week. And my concern was how on earth do I run the radio station remotely if I'm not here? Because I'm a one-man show. You know, when you've got a big station, you've got lots and lots of people running around doing all the bits and pieces. You've got production for each segment. But when you're a one-man show, it's a little bit different. And so... I found this program called Team Viewer. I have actually, I'd come across it before and I had people, web designers and stuff, remotely use my computer, but I couldn't remember what it was called, so I just looked remote computer use into Google and up came Team Viewer. And I've managed to sort that out now, so at least when I'm at Talia's folks' house, I can, through their router, connect to our router and then turn the, the radio station on if we are spending the night there for some reason. So that's really great. That's one problem ticked off the list as um, solution found. So it's quite exciting. As you go along, obstacles come in your way and you have to try and figure them out. That's the, that's the journey of running your own business or starting something fun like this. I mean, this isn't a commercial radio station. It's just for my own entertainment and um, 
and for fun so and to share music because that's what I love to do I started DJing because I love to share music with people and uh, my knowledge has grown over time my love for different genres have grown over time so I used to not like jazz now I like jazz it's it's weird it's a weird thing music because as you get more and more used to it you start to get an idea of what makes a good song a good song you start to enjoy the elements I mean I know people that vehemently hate country music but if they just gave it a chance that actually find that the the singer songwriter side of that music is just absolutely amazing the stories that are told through three and a half or four minutes of writing is just amazing I think that's what I love about music as well is that it tell each song tells a story in a very short period of time and uh, and there's personal interpretation uh, that you can add to each song which is really great anyway so that's been our vlog for today a little bit strange and weird but that's how it goes so we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.